Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. More on that later. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Modern Hobbyist. I am happy to announce today that I finally have my own CNC machine and I even built it from scratch. So stick around and I'll show you how even a noob like me can build a machine like this. Now, I don't have any experience with CNC machines, so rather than designing one from scratch myself, I decided to buy the plants from Ivan Miranda. Ivan's channel is totally bananas and I love it, so make sure to support him by checking out his channel and subscribing. And in the meantime, maybe subscribe to my channel too, you know? Anyways, that's enough begging for subscribers. Let's get started with the build. So I ordered most of the aluminum extrusions from Misumi, already cut to size, which saved me a ton of cutting, and it actually ended up being about the same price. But I did have to cut these little 40 millimeter profiles down to size on my miter saw. It's easy enough to do with the miter saw, but I definitely recommend keeping it down all the way until it stops moving. Otherwise, you might send one of these things flying across your shop. I definitely didn't make that mistake. Um, I just wanted to mention it for your sake.
<laughs> all right. <clears throat> that was a ton of work, but aside from the wasteboard, all the mechanical stuff should be done. And now all I have left to do is the wiring. But first a word from today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is my go-to manufacturer for all my DIY projects. They offer tons of different services like CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. But what I mostly use them for is PCB manufacturing. Their website has a tool that allows you to get an instant quote on a PCB by entering the dimensions of the board. But what I like to use them for is their PCB quick order service, which allows me to upload a Gerber file, select what color I want for the solder mask and silk screen, and then order 10 PCBs for only $5. They even show a little preview of the PCB before you order it, which I think is awesome because it actually helped me to catch a design issue I had with my board outline. Once you order them, they usually arrive in two to four days. And once you get your PCBs, you'll be absolutely blown away by the quality. Anyways, make sure to check the affiliate link in the description so you can get $5 off your first order. Huge thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the build. All right, and here it is, folks. Ivan Miranda's Tiny CNC Mark II, this time with a sexy blue and orange color scheme and my stupid looking face where Ivan's logo used. I did end up having to design a custom control box because I went with a different power supply than Ivan, and I added a relay to control the spindle as well as a panel mount connector for a Z-Pro. In the end, I was able to get about 210 by 325 millimeters out of it, which isn't huge, but it's big enough for a 12 by six piece of aluminum stock, which is a pretty common size. Now, as for what I'm actually gonna use this machine for? I don't know, something amazing, I guess. No, to be honest, the main goal of building this machine was to learn more about building CNC machines so I could eventually design and build a bigger, sturdier CNC machine of my own. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. But for now, if you thought this machine was awesome, then make sure to give Ivan Miranda some love by subscribing to his channel. And if you wanna build one of these yourself, then you can find the instructions on his website. Otherwise, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.